What is going on guys? Welcome to my basement. Today we are going to be checking out the final book in the Sandman Deluxe Edition series and that is book five. Stay tuned. <music> So I have reviewed every volume in this series. If you wanna have a look at more, you can check out the links in the description or the playlist linked at the end of this video. So that's it, Sandman is wrapped up. All 75 issues are now collected in these oversized deluxe edition formats, as well as other standalone related content. Neil Gaiman's masterpiece, he's written a lot of great stuff, but this series is probably one of my favorites. So this book collects Sandman issues 70 to 75, the final story arc of the original run, as well as Sandman Endless Nights and Sandman the Dream Hunters. Most of the content in here is pretty solid. There are a few uninteresting issues in Endless Nights that I didn't care for, but I'm gonna say I enjoyed at least 85% of what is here. It is the thickest deluxe edition of the five volumes, and we also get the Sandman Dream Hunters in two different formats, one which is released in just a written style and the other in a comic adaptation. So it starts off with our final story arc called The Wake. Now I can't tell you much about these issues without spoiling them, but in my opinion, the series ends off on a satisfying note. It's quite clever actually. In fact, I'm not sure what else they could have done with these characters and the universe, but it feels like a proper farewell. A lot of the series characters show up again and you get to see them in a different light than how you're used to seeing them. Then we move on to Sandman Endless Nights, which has seven chapters, each focusing on the group of seven endless characters, death, desire, destruction, delirium, despair, destiny, and dream. Most are hits, some of them missed with me. We get a mix of storytelling and art, some new ideas put forth in some of these stories, my favorite being Death and Destiny's chapters. Then finally we have two versions of the Dream Hunters written alongside artwork or in a standard comic format. Interesting story, definitely a side of Sandman that has not been done before, taking place in Japan, focusing on a humble young monk and a magical shape-changing fox, a lot of references to Eastern philosophy, Buddhism, yin, yang, darkness and light, which I usually find really interesting anyway. The art style is unlike anything we've seen before in the series as well. Very clean and gritty coloring, very pleasing overall. As for the build of the book, it's the usual compared to the rest of the Sandman Deluxe Editions. Thin paper that can leave smudges on your thumbs, no table of contents page, and an annoying ad on the dust jacket. I feel I need to make a separate video discussing the build and if this version is actually worth it compared to the omnibus or trade paperbacks, but that is for another video. So that is it guys, that is all I have for you. This is the end of Sandman and we'll see you in another video. Thank you.